is this, Mr. Walton? This, Comet, is our new project, Arcadia. It looks like a city from outer space. <laughs> Not quite. Arcadia is indeed a city, but it would be built right here in America. Golly. Picture a city of dreams and hopes for the young and old alike, where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. Gee, that sounds like a dream, Mr. Walton. Because it is a dream, Comet. And remember, to reach our dreams, we need to soar higher than ever before. Are you ready to proceed then? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm ready. Good. We're recording now. So, please, sir, state your name, age, and occupation. Trevor Hills, 28. Senior account manager at INAC. Although, I'm not sure about that anymore. I'm also the most popular person in Arcadia. But you probably already know that, right? Subject 10392, you are entering a restricted area. Stop running and surrender now. Subject 10392, turn yourself in or be neutralized. Yeah? You'll have to catch me first, you jerk! <laughs> Yes, we know that, Mr. Hills. Please continue. Uh, I used to have a mundane life. Just my everyday routine, and I, I liked it that way. But I think it all probably began about two weeks before that dreadful day. Morning, Arcadia. <sighs> Today we're enjoying a splendid temperature of 77.1 degrees and a humidity of 53% on this beautiful sunny Friday morning. Morning, Kovacs. What do you say? Up for another exquisite cabbage breakfast? Had a boy. Auto droid to full cleaning. I was pretty good at Spectrex when I was a kid, but I'm not into video games anymore. Eh, it's not a Steinway, but it fits in my comfy hobbit hole. Good morning, Trevor. And uh, over here on your right, you can see the Walton Family Memorial. It's a massive sculpture carved in stone of Elijah Walton, uh, his brother Donald, and Vivian Walton, Elijah's granddaughter and the current Arcadia representative. Next stop, INAC Gemini Tower West. Trevor Hills, welcome to INAX Gemini Towers. You've been working with us for nine years, 10 months, and 14 days. Thank you for your dedication. Still trying to beat my Spectrex high score, Mitch? It's just a matter of time, Trevor. Just a matter of time. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. Hello. Hey, Trevor, are you up for the Blitz Festival party tonight? It's in the Limelight Club. Sorry, no can do. I'm, I'm behind schedule. And I'm not much into clubbing either. Think you can have fun by yourselves without the life and soul of the party? Ha! We'll try our best, man. Ada, the automated data analyzer, is the most powerful computer ever built. INAC technology inside. 
Trevor, my man. Hiya, Gus. You look good, buddy. Been going to the gym? Nah, I don't need a gym to keep this ripped body in shape. Hills jeans. By the way, you going to the Blitz party tonight? Nope, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to have a little bit of fun once in a while? Sending the Ada. I do have fun, moderately. I enjoy doing my job. Validated. You won't be enjoying it so much now that Romano is our new supervisor. Sending to Ada. What? Will Romano? Seriously? But that guy is a moron. Um, uh, validated. You know, Gus, sometimes I get the feeling that only absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious people thrive in this company. I didn't know you were interested in the supervisor's job. I'm sending it to Ada. Validated. And, I, and I'm not. But Liam Romano, man, you gotta be kidding me. Have you ever wanted to leave all your worries behind and have the time of your life while exploring the world and making unforgettable memories? Now, thanks to the Arcadia Edge Travel Grant, you can experience what you've only dared to dream of. Because not everyone who wanders is lost. The Edge Travel Grant, only in Arcadia. Apply now through Ordinary Mail or Adenet. Um, uh, Mr. Hills, you haven't really told us anything out of the ordinary so far. Do you really need to go through... I, I know what I've told you might seem irrelevant now, but it'll help you understand later. Trust me. Good morning, Arcadia. <sighs> it's another beautiful day in the city of tomorrow. We're expecting a high of 75 degrees and humidity of 66%. Good to see you, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. Oh, I hope you are up for a pleasant stroll along Memory Lake. So keep those cameras ready, because you might get some really, really nice pics of the Arcadia Spire up there. Next stop, Inak Gemini Tower West. Hmm. I wonder where this guy went. Hey, Millie, have you seen Gus today? Is he sick or...? I don't think so. He just left early today. Really? He didn't say anything to me. We're gonna fall behind schedule. I'll be working overtime to send all these Ada memos by myself. <laughs> Thank you, Gus. Jesus, this is gonna take me forever to finish. I should have been home three hours ago, and I still have a ton of work to do. Hey, hey, I'm still working here. My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner. His name is... Hey. Isn't that Gus? Augustus Rainey, a 31-year-old senior account manager at INAC. Soon, Gus will be enjoying Fiji's pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. I hope he packed an Aloha shirt and a pair of sunglasses. Hmm, that's weird. Gus was never interested in any of this. So, I barely got to meet him, you know. They promoted me to a supervisor uh, two days later. Gus the Globetrotter left us. <laughs> Romano, I really doubt that Gus ever applied for the travel grid. Ah, uh, you know, Gus, not much of a talker. What a lucky son of a gun, though, huh? Huh? <laughs> Fiji. Ooh, I'd kill for a beach trip right about now. Anyway, uh, make sure that report is ready for tomorrow, will you? 
It'll be ready, Romano. Don't worry about it. Welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. Hey, hey! Did anybody hear that? It's that song again. Nobody? Really? Hey, Francis. Morning, Trevor. Listen, Dave, have you noticed some weird things going on lately in the office? Weird? Oh, what do you mean? I don't know, lights going off, music suddenly playing in the PA system? No, nothing. Okay, well, yeah, forget it. There must be a rational explanation for all this. There must be. be a product of my imagination, can it? Hey, Trevor, you up for a couple no, of years no, after... No, 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 I... Sorry, I, I can't. I can't. What's gotten into him? Leave me alone, damn it. What? Jesus. What the... Who is doing this? Who on earth is doing this? Would somebody please look at these screens? Damn. And maybe it's only stress. I've been working too much lately. I need to go to the doctor. It's, it's been ages since I had a checkup. No, I'm not in the mood to play right now. I don't even want to get close to the TV. Not after last time. No thank you. Who knows what might happen if I turn that droid- Hey Kovacs? Am I going crazy, buddy? Ugh. I don't think I'm gonna sleep a wink tonight. Those were probably the worst two weeks in my entire life. Or at least, the weirdest. Although it was nothing compared to what I was going to experience later that day. Do you know if they even had a name for it? You mean a name for your... Yes, that's it. The day the running started. Okay, I, uh, I have to get a hold of myself. It's Friday. Just a few more hours of work and the week will be over. I'll finish here, go back home, have a glass Remember of warm milk, go to sleep. S Travel Grant 2. The only requirements are that you must be of legal age and have an insatiable wanderlust. Request the application form via ordinary mail or Adenet. No, thank you. Okay. Today's tasks. Nothing like some routine stuff to keep your mind occupied. Oh, come on! I didn't even save. Hey guys, did you lose your... What? Gus is... dead. Trevor Hills, please. Your supervisor requires your presence in the meeting room on the 10th floor. Now what? What on 
Earth? is going to congratulate you for winning the Edge Travel Grant. What, what, who, who is this? Just listen. Three travel agents will be there with you to arrange all the paperwork. If you leave with them, you won't ever be seen again. What? what? Wait a second. I, I didn't even apply for the travel grant. Neither did Gus. Follow my instructions when you exit the elevator. It's your only chance to survive. What? what? Wait! What on earth was that? Here, on the intercom. Look at them. Do those guys look like travel agents to you? Take the elevator at the end of the hallway and go straight to the 20th floor. Whatever happens, do not stop until you get there. Oh, hey, hey, Trevor, come here. Where are you going, Mr. I Hills? have good news for oh, you. No, 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 they've seen me. Found with this measure, we will pay. Hey, you can't be here, Mister. This is a private meeting. Uh, sorry, I, I'm. I just. I have, I have to. I just. Don't mind me. Bye. Sorry, couldn't hold it. Take the stairs. Okay, now what do I do? When you reach the 20th floor, cross the Ada room lobby and enter the supercomputer room. The supercomputer room? I don't have clearance to access the- Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Damn it, there's no exit here. Hey, you, strange voice or whatever you are. Can you hear me? What do I do now? Wait in there. I have to do something really quick. What? Calm down. Don't, Don't panic. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm so sorry to leave you hanging there, Trevor. But admin permissions are updated daily, so I have to do this right here and right now. Great. All checked. Next phase of the plan. There she is. Kendra Tomlin, my inept boss. She's probably been logged into her computer all day, lurking through her assigned citizen grid, enjoying a quiet day with no incidents. Well, that's about to change as soon as I shut down her computer from my cell phone, which I don't remember where I put. Ah, oh, where did I leave my cell phone? I have to grant myself admin permissions to help Trevor. Without them, I'm afraid I can't do anything to help him. I have to admit that changing the billboards was a bit theatrical, but that's the way I am, I guess. Arpad Kovac signed this postcard for me when I met him at TechCon in 19... Uh-uh. I gotta get my cell phone and hack Kendra. Here you are. Now I only have to access Kendra's computer and... Unleash Hell. I wrote down her IP here. Oh, how stupid can I be? Only I could think of writing something that important on my hand. Klutziest activist ever. Sorry for interrupting another hard day of procrastination, Kendra. Just a couple seconds to begin the cursing and screaming in three, two, one, one again, what the and no. here it is. No, 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 Total no, no. system shut down. Now, Kendra, you better follow the protocol like a responsible supervisor and call Jean. Yeah, of course, it's Kendra. Yelling? <laughs> you better move your sorry ass and get up here, or you will find out what yelling is. And here it comes, directly from the server room. Gene Wynn, the admin guy. Hey, Gene. Poor Gene, I really owe you one, man. Okay, the server room will be empty as long as Gene is pulling all of Kendra's admin. aggro. What took you so long? And by the looks of it, you it's gonna be a while. Gene? So next phase, get inside the server below. room. Can't be caught on the surveillance cameras. I have to admit that changing the billboards was a bit theatrical, 
but that's the way I am, I guess. This little plant managed to survive, despite my black thumb. The weather forecast predicts a blizzard for the next three days. Yay! Comet, the canine cadet, or as we used to call him in Puerto Rico, Celso, el perro del espacio. I have to grant myself admin permissions to help Trevor. Without them, I'm afraid I can't do anything to help him. No matter how hard I no try, matter how I, hard always I, try have I always have an awkward expression, in my, awkward ID expression in my ID photos. The hallway to the server room is tracked by three surveillance cameras. I need to get close to the cameras and upload the loop footage from my cell phone. But I have to be sure the right video is uploaded to the right camera. I'm pretty sure that the board of directors would have glad. Here it is. Boasting about being, boasting about being an ass. complete layout of the 21st floor. All the videos are uploaded and playing the loops. I can enter the server room now. grant myself admin permissions to help Trevor. Without them, I'm afraid I can't do anything to help him. forgot that Gene still uses the old four-digit security system, and I don't know his passcode. <sighs> Wrong passcode. Damn it. Teresa must be on her cigarette break. Perfect timing. Oh, Teresa must be on her cigarette break. Perfect timing. If I could have lunch today with anyone dead or alive, it would definitely be Elijah Walton. It's not a good idea to enter offices other than mine. I'm sorry, Michael. As long as Kendra's in the company, you'll always be the runner-up in the corporate lackey contest.
<laughs> look at this. I can't believe it. You're an absolute disaster when it comes to security measures, Jean. But thank God for that. Ta-da! Door open. There's nothing of interest in Jean's computer. The servers are in that room in the back. Good. Now I only have to access the servers and grant myself admin permissions. Got it. Now back to my office to keep helping Trevor. Shit, I almost forgot to restore the surveillance cameras before returning to Trevor. Yes, all cameras are back to- Hey! Oh, uh, Kendra. You think this is normal? Uh, uh, I, 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 I can explain. Seriously, I have tons of work to worry about, and they expect me to meet my deadlines with constant screw-ups? This is not normal! Oh. Oh! You mean that? Uh, no, no, of course not. That is totally unacceptable. This is the second time I've had the same sudden crash. Remember it also happened a few days ago? Boom. And all my work goes down the drain in an instant. Yes. Yes, I remember. Yeah, sure. Uh, definitely Jean has something to do about that issue, of course. Anyway, looks like it's going to take a while. Fancy a latte macchiato at the cafeteria? Uh, sorry, Kendra, I still have some things to finish, and given what happened to you, I don't want to risk losing all my work too, you know? Hi, Leo, I thought she had caught me. Okay, Trevor, I'm back. Oh, thank God. But, wait, your voice is... No! Oh. I forgot to turn the voice modulator on. Ah, damn it. Oh, it's fine. I'd rather listen to a human voice than whatever that was before. <sighs> yeah, what difference does it make now? Anyway, let me open that big door. Cameras are ready. Great, I can switch between them. Wow, that computer room is really dark. That's not a computer room, Trevor. Go inside, please. Uh, okay. You'll find an earpiece on that table ahead of you. Put it on so we can speak directly. I have the earpiece. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. And you? I can hear you too, yes. What is this place? Where am I? And why does it look like the backstage of a TV studio? Because it is, Trevor. This is Arcadia's backstage. What? No, 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 no. This, this, is, this is the Ada room, the most powerful computer ever built. Ada means Artifact Disposal Area. This is where the containers from all INAC employees are dumped to be processed and destroyed. But that... That doesn't make any sense. INAC would lose millions if they just- INAC can't lose shit because INAC is not a real company. It's just another one of... Arcadia's intricate lies. But you've had enough lies already, Trevor. Let me show you the truth for once. Please, Trevor, have a seat. Now in its 55th season, American Arcadia. A 43-square-mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on every digital platform. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Arcadia, where a complex system of thousands of cameras registers the everyday lives of their 23,414 Arcadia-born citizens. Experience love, 
drama, and scandal from all of your favorite Arcadia celebrities. Steve Just, DJ Zoom, Tiffany Amber Gaines, and many more. Vote, comment, and be a part of American Arcadia. Live from the Arcadia Dome, I'm your host, Vivian Walton. What? What is this? This, Trevor, is your life. A life that has been recorded and compiled right down to the last second. What? Why on earth would anybody be interested in my life? That's exactly the problem, Trevor. Nobody is interested in your life. I'm pretty sure you know who Steve Just is. Well, yeah, everybody knows aerobic Steve. He's... The most popular person in Arcadia? Of course he is. Well, this is Steve Just's track camera view rate. That's the number of people outside Arcadia who watch his life 24-7. And this is your track camera view rate. Actually, you only have one person following your track camera, and that's me. You're not an absolute jerk, an egomaniac, or obnoxious. You're just an average Joe with an ordinary life. Too ordinary. Too ordinary? Too ordinary for what? To be profitable, Trevor. You're not good American Arcadia material. In here, a popular person means sponsorships, media coverage, ads, merchandise. In short, money. And as the audience ratings of American Arcadia are in negative growth, the show can't afford to maintain people like you anymore. Unprofitable citizens need to be... be retired from the show. Re retired You... you mean... Yes, I mean exactly what you're thinking. But... they can't do that, right? They can't kill me. Can they? Not legally. But again... Who's gonna miss you if you never ever show up again? Nobody's interested in your life, remember? Oh my god. This... this is a nightmare. This can't be true. Trevor, I know this is tough to swallow, but we have to keep going, okay? Oh. <sighs> okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Good. We can try to use your anonymity to our advantage to get you out of here. But first things first, you have to leave the INAC building and get to the closest monorail station. Hey you, whoever you are, I, I don't see a way around here. There is a wardrobe case back there. Bring it here and climb on it to get to that platform. Hey, uh, hey, I, I can't see anything in here. Could you do something about that, please? All right, let me find a light source. Uh, is that better? Now let's try to find a way out of here. Not, not since PE in high school. Because of my metabolism, I don't easily gain weight, so I don't usually do any. Okay, okay. I'm not here to judge your lifestyle or your dietary habits. Just save your breath and keep going, will you?
Hide! Hide! No, but he must be around backstage. We're gonna find him quick. We don't want to have to call him the gallery. I hope not. We'll think we're a bunch of idiots. I don't really think we're a bunch of idiots. So we don't get cool get ups like the other guys. How about hey? I guess we can use the drones. My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner! His name is... Trevor Hills! A 28-year-old account manager with no friends and a boring life that nobody gives two shits about! My god, you're so mean, Vivian. I'm sorry, I just can't help myself. I know the rules. All grant winners must be publicly announced, blah blah blah, but honestly, I don't see the point in it. Who cares about this guy? Anyway, let's take five and we'll record it in one go, okay? Vivian Walton is a horrible person? I think evil bitch describes her better, but... It's that evil bitch who hosts American Arcadia Live feeds every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8 p.m. Three-hour specials where the Walton Empire's true heiress drags her family legacy through the mud. <laughs> and the audience loves her. So yeah, she's a horrible person. Sorry, man. Have you seen a guy around here dressed in 70s clothing? Yes, about 20,000 every day. I work in American Arcadia. Hey, what happened? What do I know? Let me fix it. <sighs> fix it. It's on again. Son of a... Back on. This light thing is getting on my nerves. It's working again. Again? Damn it. There we go, it's on. <sighs> Fix it. It's on again. Could you please give me a hand with this light? Not my job, thank you very much. It's back on. Son of a... <laughs> it's working again. <sighs> mannequins? They put mannequins in here too, just to fill up seats? Yep. Now you're getting it. Any news? Not yet, but we've got all the exits covered. Good. He's not gonna get out of this building. Unless he grows a pair of wings. Shit. Plan B, Trevor. Forget about the elevator. You have to find another way out. Me? I'm an account manager! The only things I can find are... mistakes and balance sheets! <sighs> Let me think. 
Um, there's a uh, there's a window in front of you, right? You're not thinking of. We need to get you to the closest monorail station as soon as possible. There's no other option. There's another station literally in front of the Ionock building. Didn't you hear them, Trevor? What part of all exits are covered? Didn't you get? Oh, this is a seriously bad idea. Oh god, this is really high. Would you please calm down, Trevor? I shouldn't have gotten out of bed today. In which case you'd already be dead by now. Just don't panic and let me think of something. Uh, uh, uh. Trevor? Trevor, you're doing all right. Okay, just keep going. realized that I don't even know your name or why you're doing this. I'd rather not give you more details right now, for safety reasons. But you can call me Kovacs. Kovacs? Like, like my turtle? What? No, man. Kovacs, the Hungarian scientists and architects of tomorrow. Science always finds a way and all that, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, our pet Kovacs. I was a huge fan too. I named my turtle after him. Dude, why do you keep bringing your turtle into this conversation? Well, I just thought, yeah, forget it. Trevor, watch out. Don't let the Vargan Basement Beastie Boys see you. The what? Oh, I forgot you don't know the Beastie Boys. The uh, travel agents. Don't let the travel agents see you. Hexagon, shutter malfunction. Revert to open state, please. Hexagon, please revert shutter at my location. Thank you. Hey, Trevor, I must say, you are coping quite well with all this physical stress. Despite your age. What do you mean, my age? I'm 28. You're... Oh. Oh, you're... Uh, sorry about that, I... Uh, uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's the mustache. You see the guy? Nah. There's no way he climbed out the window. What do they expect? The stapler guy from office space climbing out of a window? Come on. Now what? Now what what? Just jump over the gap and move forward. Are, are you sure? If I miss, I die. Oh, come on, Trevor. Even my grandpa could jump that. Mr. Hills, what are you doing? You're going to hurt yourself, Mr. Hills. Oh, shit. The travel agents are here. Uh, jump, now. Ah! Please, stop running. Stop immediately. Keep running, for God's sake! Get over that crane, Trevor, quick! The crane?! Yes, trust me! He's going over the crane! 
Jumped into a swimming pool from the 20th floor of a building? Yes. And while I think it's pretty obvious, I'm not exactly a daredevil. Although in hindsight, that jump was nothing compared to what I had to do afterwards. Better already? Dry enough? No, I'm still soaking wet. Sorry about that, but we oh, don't have much time. Get moving before the travel agents get down here. <laughs> Keep going, Trevor. You're doing great. Now listen, to get to the station, I need you to... Cross the monorail tracks, right? You were gonna say that, weren't you? I'm afraid so. Oh, damn it. Somebody stop Hill's that car alarm. The Inac East Tower? How is now, that Trevor, possible? run! It's Trevor Hill. Jump to the pool, Get him! Man, to the dam. Come here, you! <gasps> Who could expect that? Kid or whatever you call them. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> what did I say it wrong? Sorry, I did just, just got a bit overexcited. Whew. So, where are we headed to, Kovacs? Right into the Cygnus lobby. Grand Hotel Cygnus? What for? There's a badge I need you to retrieve there. A badge? Your holidays in Arcadia are about to begin. Soon you'll be transported to the stunning city of tomorrow. But before you have dinner at the top of the Spire restaurant, enjoy the best disco music in the Limelight Club. Or discover the magic of Comet Land. There's something else you need to know. Introducing Access Badge, an amazing electronic device that will allow you to make the most of your Arcadia vacations. Carefully designed to look like a real 1970s prop, your access badge will be scanned at the checkpoint terminal on your entry day, and that's it! You don't even need to check in at the front desk. Just use your access badge to get into your hotel room and start having fun! Even our auto-droid operated room service will be entirely at your disposal thanks to your access badge. And remember, if you're using the Insta Delivery Service, your bags will be waiting in your room just a few seconds after you open the door. Please carry your access badge with you at all times during your Arcadia visit until the day you leave at your assigned departure checkpoint. Now you are ready to experience the city of tomorrow as Elijah Walton himself envisioned it. Remember, enjoy your stay in Arcadia and... Do not break the fourth wall. Grand Hotel 
Signal Cygnus Station. Please watch your step when exiting the car. Wow, look at this place. This is majestic. Definitely. It's not called the Grand Hotel for nothing. But we didn't choose it for the luxury. The Cygnus is the only hotel in Arcadia with a monorail station built inside. I see. So, what's the plan now? Oh, yes. To get you out like any other Arcadia tourist, you'll need one of those badges I told you about. Didn't you just say that all tourist areas are restricted unless you wear the badge? How am I going to get into your suite then? We'll have to slip you through the service zones and then get you to the room floors. Oh, I see. Makes sense. <laughs>